number sentences are used to model solutions to problems. Now let's talk about number sentences for a little bit. Number sentences are like word sentences, except they use numbers and math symbols rather than words. When you write with word sentences, it's important to have a complete sentence. Your teacher probably tells you that all the time. Well, when you write number sentences, it's important to have a complete number sentence as well. Now, number sentences can be true or false. 10 minus 2 equals 8 is a number sentence. And it is true because 10 minus 2 does equal 8. Now, 8 divided by 2 is greater than 4 plus 4. That's also a number sentence. However, this number sentence is a false sentence because if we think about what value 8 divided by 2 holds, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and if we think about the value of 4 plus 4, which is 8, 4 is greater than 8, that's not true. That's how it's a false sentence. Now, sometimes number sentences have a variable. Number sentences that contain a variable are called open number sentences. Now, variables are letters that are used in place of unknown numbers. We're going to be doing practice with open number sentences today. So you will be using a variable in your number sentence, and then we'll be trying to find the solution for that variable. So we'll talk about that more in a little bit. Now, I, I mentioned earlier that number sentences need to be complete sentences, just like word sentences do. Well, in order to be complete, number sentences must have a relation symbol, or it is incomplete. Relation symbols are those things like equals, is greater than, is less than, is not equal to, and here's a couple you may not be familiar with. This is read, is greater than or equal to. And the last one is, is less than or equals to. We will not use these symbols very often, but here you are, they do exist. Now let's take a look at an example. Okay, here we have an example problem. Okay, take a look here with me. Maria had two decks of cards. One of the decks had only 36 cards instead of 52. The rest were missing from the deck. How many cards were missing? Okay, this is our real life story problem. Now, we're going to sort of dissect these problems so that you can really get a good understanding of what the problem is. First thing we want to do is we want to list the numbers needed to solve the problem. In this case, we have two number, no, three numbers mentioned in our story problem. Two decks of cards, 36 cards in one deck, 52 in the other. Now, the question is how many cards were missing? So, in order to solve that problem, we need the numbers 36 and 52. We don't need the number 2. you got to watch out for that when you're doing story problems because sometimes there's more stuff in there than you really need. So we want to focus on what we really need. So in order to solve the problem, we need the numbers 36 and 52. Describe what you want to find. Always look back to the question for this. What was the question? How many cards were missing? So what do we want to find? The number of missing cards. Now, the next job is to write an open sentence. Remember that open number sentence means that there is going to be a variable in place of the unknown number. Now, in this case, we don't know how many cards we're missing. So we're going to put a variable in place of that. And we can pick any letter we want to. In this case, we picked C, I think probably because C stands for cards. Now, if you think about what do we need to do in order to solve this problem, we need to think 36 plus what number equals 52. Okay, it tells us there should be 52. We've got 36. 
this is one open sentence we could write to solve this problem. You might be able to think of a different open sentence that would work. For example, we know that if we have 52, we should have 52 cards, we only have 36. How many are left missing? So we could think 52 minus 36 equals C. Either way is a correct open sentence. Our next job is to find the missing number in the open sentence. Okay, that's our solution. Your solution means what does that variable stand for? In this case, if we do this math, C equals 16. Okay, we would put the number 16 in place of C and it would be a true number sentence. So the solution is C equals 16. Lastly, write the answer to the number story. Okay, answer. Well, what answers the question, how many cards were missing? 16 cards. You'll notice your answer is going to need a unit. Okay, you're always going to have a unit um, when you're working with story problems. And so your answer should involve the solution, 16, along with the unit, cards, 16 cards.